super excited to be here, super pumped. And I got some amazing, amazing training lined up for you. I actually made some slides as well. So we're going to get right into the nitty gritty th uh, of things. Um, so let me share my screen real quick so you guys can see the information. And let me just find it here real quick. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And um, we're going to get right into this, uh, right into this training right now. So guys, the training is actually called the price of success, right? The price of success. I believe everybody that is successful, I believe everybody that has, you know, attained some level of success uh, within their life uh, has ha had to pay a price. And I'm here to tell you that that price is not a cheap one. It's not an easy one to obtain. It's not an easy one to pay. So you have to do a lot of things in order for, uh, for you guys to reach that level of pinnacle success that you guys desire so much. Uh, we have, you know, the opportunity to, you know, take this company to a million, uh, a million customers and, you know, we're doing so we're pain. That's actually part of paying the price of success. So we're going to get right into things here. I hope everybody can see my screen type one, one, one in the chat. If you can see my screen, you can hear my voice. But we're going to get right into it. So the price of success, guys. So as you know, anybody that's successful, anybody that has obtained a level of success had to pay a price for you to be successful. You have to actually have massive, massive amounts of uh, gratitude, right? So what that requires is for you to be grateful for your mentors, be grateful for your trials and tribulations, everything that led you to the point that you are right now, whether you're at that pinnacle level of success that you desire to be, or that's where you're headed. You have to be path to success, right? In some way, somehow they had, they had touched your life um, or put a little bit of uh, input for you to have that type of success that you have right now. So it says here on this remark that I actually um, please, uh, you know, put on here, it says life won't reward you with more until you're able to work with what you have. Most people want everything out so far. I wake up every single day and I say, thanks to God, I'm alive to see another 24 hours. My family is good. We're good. We're not hurting for anything. And, um, you know, I like my brother, uh, Mr. Uh, Lissalo Tavares says, you know, I strive to win the day. I strive to win every hour of the day. And that's why I've been able to obtain a certain amount. awareness for you to see the blessings that you have around you, meaning you have to be grateful for others winning, right? You have to be grateful for uh, grateful for every single, uh, every single person around you that's having some type of success. Towards the, the pinnacle success that you want to achieve in life. And I'm a, you know, a firm believer that, you know, I have no type of envy whatsoever inside of me. Um, I'm super grateful for everybody that has put, you know, a little bit of input uh, for them to, uh, for me to be where I am right now and where I'm headed because this thing is actually moving very fast and it's moving fast in the right direction. A lot of people are winning thanks to I Am Mastery Academy. I am here to tell you guys that, you know, this company literally changed my life. It literally is changing thousands and thousands of people's lives around the world. So we should be very grateful just because of that fact. So we're going to get, uh, keep it moving here, guys. I don't want to hold you guys up all night. But like I said in the beginning of the call, guys, success, uh, success has a price and is very, very, very expensive. This is something that I learned at, a, uh, at an early age. Um, and something that I actually um, spoke to uh, several leaders, one leader that comes to mind, Mr. David Imaniti. I remember one time we were having um, dinner in Puerto Rico uh, about a year or so ago. And David Imaniti literally told us, you know, at the dinner table, he said, in order for, for an individual to have success uh, or to be successful in their life, somebody and somebody in their family tree had to pay for that success. So meaning if you see a version of, you see a version of Joey right now, right? And my family tree, somebody prior to Joey had to pay for the success that I'm having right now. So I could tell you that that had to do a lot with my mother and my grandmother. They put a lot on the line in order for me to be the man of good that I am now. Um, you know, and, and your family, it might not be, it, it, it might not happen yet, but you probably will be that person that will pay the price for your generations to come, not to have to actually suffer or go through the things that you went through in order to have the things that you have. So, you know, 
you probably will be the first millionaire in your family. You probably will be the, the one that breaks those generational curses in your family. And it's okay to be that, right? There is not a millionaire in my family. And it's actually a, a, something so fulfilling because, you know, I'm changing the direction of, you know, of the course of direction of our family tree of family, uh, you know, uh, bloodline, right? So, and remember guys, that success is nothing but a decision away, right? The decision that you have to make, you have to decide to be successful. You have to enforce the things that you need to do in order to be successful. And this is a lot of people think because, you know, you see successful individuals, but you're seeing the, their final chapter. You're not seeing their struggles, their trials and tribulations. So you think that everybody um, that has some type of success, um, you know, you think that everybody that has some type of success, it was automatically given to them. It, I'm here to tell you that that's not true, right? And this is not for the chosen one, it's for the few that chose that a few that choose to be successful. And the reason being is because success has such high price, a such expensive price, is that most people aren't willing to pay for that price. Most people aren't willing to put it all on the line in order for them to see the massive amounts of success they want. Most people aren't willing to do the things they have to do in order for those things that they want to come to fruition. Right. Most people aren't willing. They might tell you one thing, but their actions speak louder than words. Right. Most people are not willing to do the things that it requires to get to the next level. Right. And I'm going to talk about some of these things and some of these things might hurt your feeling. They might hit you a certain way. But these are things that I personally have to go through in order to have the level of success that I have. And I'm still not at the pinnacle level of success that I want. I'm still working day in and day out and keeping myself surrounded by individuals that motivate me to be better day in and day out. So this is what this is about, okay? So let's get right into it. The first, uh, you know, for you guys that actually want to take notes, um, I would highly encourage you to take some notes, put them in a checklist format, and then you could actually go through this uh, as an exercise. Right? You want to make sure that you're checking yourself uh, on a daily, on a weekly, and evaluating what you're doing. If, ask yourself, is what I'm doing right now beneficial or detrimental to my growth, right? Is what I'm doing right now, it's helping my growth or it's taken away from my growth, right? Who am I? I said, success is nothing but a decision away, right? So in order for you to be successful, you have to become a great decision maker, right? Napoleon Hill said it best. Successful people make decisions, make, the, make decisions fast and they change very slow, right? Make, successful people make decisions fast. Uh, 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 um, decision maker, you have to take action, right? If you see an opportunity that you could potentially see, you know, immense amount of growth or success, um, that you can actually have with that opportunity, then you have to take action, right? Seeing something and not doing anything about it is just as good as not doing anything or not being there. Life has led you to this point in your life that you are, has led you to the results that you have right now, whether it's a positive or a negative one, just understand that you have something to do with that, right? Understand that if you're in a positive situation, it's because you did something good about it. You did something good with your life and it led you to that positive situation that you are right now. I wasn't very aware of this, you know, at an earlier age, but as I got older, I, I pretty much started noticing that everything correlated with one, you know, one another, one thing correlated to the next. Uh, and, you know, the decisions that you take today will have a massive amount of effect on your future, on your reality tomorrow, right? So you have to keep that in mind. Um, you have to definitely keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, so when I actually came into this company, guys, I actually one thing I did once I started seeing results, I didn't, it didn't happen for me right away, but once I started seeing the results that I desired from this, I pretty much decided to go all in and forget about, uh, you know, forget about the how, right? I read a book that said the how is irrelevant, right? The how is literally irrelevant. It doesn't matter how, just know that the why will help you get there, right? The why will definitely help you get there. 
the how it's irrelevant, right? For those of you guys that don't know, English is not my very uh, my first language. I was born in Venezuela, right? I came to the United States at the age of 11 um, and I didn't know any English, right? I never asked myself, how am I gonna learn English? I never asked myself that because I knew I had to get it done. I was in an English speaking country. And because of that, the how was not irrelevant. I knew the why, I knew why I needed to, to, to learn the language. And here I am, I speak English, perfect English. I you know read perfect English and pretty much I've gotten some of my Spanish because of how much you know, my day to day basis, I, you know, it's pretty much 24 seven English. So, um, and if you actually want to take some notes, guys, you want to write this down. This is actually one of the most important things that I put on this slide uh, for you guys. So this actually correlates to one another. So results come from behavior and decisions, right? So whatever results that you're having in life, whether they're positive or not, and the decisions that you take on a daily basis, day in and day out, right? So results come from uh, your behavior and decisions. Right? If you feel good, you're more than likely gonna do good things. If you feel good, right? You're more than likely gonna do some positive things, right? So that's how it correlates, right? Your behavior, if you feel good, you're gonna act, you're gonna act a certain way. If you feel good, if you feel like on a positive state of mind, you're always gonna do positive things, right? If you don't feel so good, those behaviors might be a little different. You, you're in your outcome, your decisions will be a little different, right? So how you feel has to do with, uh, you know, has to do with your behaviors and it affects your decisions as well. So keep that in mind. And how you feel comes from your way of thinking, right? Everything starts in the mind, believe it or not. If you close your eyes, right, and think about all the things around you, right, your house, this computer, the cell phones that we have, everything that we have, this sweater, everything, right? It was a thought prior to being a thing. Thoughts are things, right? Thoughts are things, real things, right? If you can think it, you can achieve it. If you can think it, you can be it. If you can think it, you can have it. So things start in the mind. That's the most powerful thing that we have. That's why we human beings have imaginations, right? When you go to sleep, you dream about stuff. You think about those stuff long, you know, long and hard and those things come to fruition. I used to think about what would it be for the day uh, the day of when I became when I became chairman 10 and I'm here to tell you that it felt amazing even better than I actually thought it would feel but in my head all it was it was a thought all of last year it was a thought a, a remaining a constant thought that was vibrating very high in my brain and it was my main focus chairman 10 chairman 10 chairman 10 is done is done is done is done is now now we're headed to different different levels you know and, and way to uh, you know and route to helping more people um you know create success for themselves so now we're thinking chairman 25 chairman 50 chairman 100 and so on and so forth right so and you can only accomplish that if you feel good if you feel good you ways to make you feel better whether it's music whether it's you know, daily things that you you have, right? So daily habits that you have. So if you feel good, you should find ways to make yourself feel better. If you feel at an all time high, best, right? Like the best. High chances are you're gonna be actually very static, very positive, and you're gonna create some positive, positive situations for yourself. So, um, you know, the second thing that I wanna talk about, it's burning all the bridges that led you to the average life that you currently have, if you had living, if you're living an average life, right? Now, I used to, I used to think about this as, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest for every single individual in this call, you know, because, you know, it's not easy to let go of the things that we're, we're accustomed to. It's not easy to let go of the things that we grew up, you know, around. You know, I grew up in, in some, you know, surrounded by individuals that weren't, that weren't beneficial to my life. And I didn't understand 
that I had to take those individuals out of my life in order for me to uh, uh, to be more successful, right? I had to cut out the dead weight out of my life in order for me to flourish, right? And it might be your closest one to you, right? My family, luckily, my family has been very supportive of me from day one. You know, my mother doesn't really understand what I, what I do for a living. She just knows that it's a very good profession. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's legal. We make a lot of money. We're teaching and empowering people to make money. And, you know, we're literally changing and reprogramming people to learn a new skill set that can help them pay the bills, right? So that's what I had to do. I had to cut out a lot of the dead weight. You know, I removed a lot of relationships, you know, people that were not positive. They were not productive to me towards, towards my growth and success, right? Now, when you do that or when you try to do in that conscious, you know, unconsciously, your mind would try to, you know, get back to a comfortable a comfortable state of mind, meaning they would, it, your mind would actually would try to get you back to what you're used to right and it's all that's completely normal right that's completely normal because that's how we're wired right whatever you think about most of the you know most of the day that's what you are that's what you will be right so your mind is cus is a customer is used to a certain environment in that state of mind right it feels comfortable there but your job is with thoughts right to with positive thoughts combat or you know uh, fight those th those negative thoughts i would actually lead, lead you back to the average life that you're living or that you know that you will do as one's live right so burn all those bridges that a, a statistic by the time it's all said and done i want to be like my brother ness said i want to be a millionaire creator not just a millionaire, I wanna create and change lives around the world. I wanna make sure that I'm having a positive impact in the world alongside my friends and family members, making sure that they're taken care of. And that's why I decided. One of the best things you will ever, ever do, if you really focus and if you really want to take your life to the next level, this is essential. You cannot, you cannot get to the next level Um, you know, distractions, any conversations that are not beneficial to your growth, social media, entertainment, whatever it is that's holding you back from the next level, you got to sit your, with yourself, right? And evaluate yourself and say, what is it that I'm doing that is not allowing me to get to the next level? What is it that I'm currently not doing that doesn't, that I'm currently doing that doesn't help me or doesn't allow me to get past to the next level? Ask yourself that. And be very true to yourself, because when you look at yourself in the mirror, right, that version of you that you see, that's the only version of you that you can lie to. Right? You can lie to everybody around you, but that version of you that you see in the mirror every single night or every single morning when you wake up, you cannot lie to that person. Right? So be real with yourself. Ask yourself that question. I asked myself about 15 months ago, am I living the life that I deserve to live? The answer was no. Uh, my parent, uh, you know, uh, my 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 loved one, my mother, my grandmother, who raised me, is she living the life that the, that she deserves to live? Is my brother living a good life? When I look at my bank account, am I happy and grateful to see the numbers that I see, or am I petrified to see how many negative, how many numbers is in is in the negative? Right, that's what I used to ask myself, and I had to come to a conclusion to say to be man enough to, with myself and say, you know what? I am headed down the wrong path. I got to do things. I got to change things in order for in, in order for things to change, right? And that's why I decided to take this very serious. I burnt all the bridges that led me to that average life, and because I've been able to put myself in positive environments, you know, and around people that motivate me to be better, then I, uh, you know, by by default, my life is actually, you know, elevating, right? Remember that elevation requires separation. And in order for you to get to, you know, bigger and higher heights, you have to separate yourself from everything. If something is not adding to your life, it's slowly taken away. I can promise you that. If something is not adding to your life, it's taken away from your life. And if it's taken away from your life, it's limiting you from going to the next level. So, the third thing you have to do is you 
that starts in the mind. Believe is a word that to me means that you have to have faith. You have to have belief. You have to have, you have to, you have to know that what you want is already done. You just have to do the things that it requires you to get those things, right? Belief is not just a feeling. Act of life that is gonna happen. If it hasn't happened, it's happening, right? So you have to do the things that allow you to believe that what you're doing is positive enough, that what you're doing is good enough, that it's gonna give you the immense amount of success that you that you desire in your life, right? Now, you could create anything that you think, anything that you think in your brain, you could create it, right? You could bring it to fruition, you could bring it to life, you could you know, definitely bring it to the real world because things are thoughts, right? They start out, uh, they literally start out as thoughts. You know, before Steve Jobs came out with the iPhone, he thought about it, then put a plan in place in order for him to create that iPhone, right? So whatever uh, Napoleon Hill said, one, actually, this is one of my favorite quotes that Napoleon Hill uh, ever had, uh, and says, whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve. What that, really, what that really means, is, you know, in a short few words, is that whatever you can actually think, you can have whatever you can actually think, you can be whatever you can actually think, you can do, right? If you can bring yourself to believe that you can do it, trust me, it can be done, right? Now, the other thing that's major, right, is that you actually will have, well, you actually will have to delete or remove any type of doubt that contradicts what you are actually thinking, right? That contradict that goes against your end goal, right? Now, when I when I set out to hit Chairman Ten, I never said, you know, I want to hit Chairman Ten, but I am doubtful that I can do it. I just said it's done. Chairman Ten is done. Chairman Ten is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. So I removed any kind of doubt that would actually go against, of, you know, the goal of me hitting Chairman Ten, and that's why. I am a chairman 10, you know, sitting in front of you right now uh, in this company because I've removed any type of doubt, any type of negativity, any type of, you know, negative situation that would lead me back to thinking that I could not be a chairman 10, right? So if you have doubt, you have less belief, right? You can't have both. You can't have doubt and belief. You can't be in the middle. It's not something that you balance out. Right. So one thing that I'm, big, I'm very big on is that when I set out to you know, hit a goal, I don't put limits on my goal. Right. I don't say, yeah, I want to hit chairman 10, but I'm going to put a certain day or a certain limit on my goal. I just put a plan in place. Right. In order for me to execute that that goal that I want, which is, you know, in this case was hitting chairman 10. I happened in 15 months. And that's why I'm here to tell you that if you don't put limits on your goals, you can have anything you want, as long as you're working towards those goals, okay? Now, this is a big one, and one of the, the, the ones that, you know, most people, you know, actually comply with because they actually have to start doing things that they're not used to. So you have to, like, uh, you know, in order for you to have success, or once you start having success, you have to make lifestyle changes. And the lifestyle changes, it, it, you know, there's several of them that you actually, actually start have to, you know, implementing into your life. For you to live a better lifestyle, for you to be in a positive state of mind. Remember, the objective is to feel good and always remember to feel better, right? So if you're eating good, you feel good. If you're exercising, you feel good. If you have a balanced diet, you feel good. And if you feel good, your, ob your objective is to feel better, right? And if you feel better, you're going to do better things and you're going to be more positive and productive, right? Now, exercise is one of the things that I actually want to implement. And, you know, I used to be very crazy with exercising, uh, but, you know, once I set out the goal to hit Chairman 10, I actually let go of that. Obviously the pandemic, thing, you know, it would help you guys keep you sane, right? It would actually help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. You know, you don't have to go out to the gym and, you know, uh, lift every weight in the gym, <laughs> like most people want to do, but, you know, as long as you're doing some type of, you know, exercise, just remember that energy runs through you. Energy is contagious, right? 
doing exercise, if we're constantly putting ourselves in motion, we could actually allow more energy to come to our bodies and allow ourselves to be more positive and more productive, right? So also have a balanced diet. We already touched on that. Now, this is a big one. You got to actually start reading books, listen to audios, motivational music. Those negative thoughts, those negative wave, uh, wavelengths that you actually might have engraved into your brain or, you know, over the years because of the surroundings that you actually grew up in. Out there that you could actually read that would actually make you more uh, aware of what's going on in the world. And what actually, you know, um, one of the books that I would actually recommend to you guys is Thinking Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich is one of the books that I would recommend to you guys that is actually essential if you really want to take this profession seriously, if you really want to, you know, go to the you know highest levels that you can possibly be in this profession, right? And the audio, the best audio that I actually, actually recommend to you, uh, for you guys to listen is called Your Wish is Your Command. After you listen to that audio, nothing will ever be the same. And if you already listened to it, Make sure you listen to it again because I'm sure you missed some things. I just finished the audio because I'm part of a 30 day uh, mentorship group. Uh, shout outs to my sis Tia uh, for facilitating that. And it literally it allowed me to expand, expand my way of thinking. It allowed me to change uh, my, my, my train of thoughts, it allowed me to think bigger, faster, right? It allowed me to just look beyond the horizon. So, your wish is your command by Kevin Trudeau. It's a must. I don't know if you guys listen to it, but if you haven't, make sure to listen to it because it would definitely change the way you think, the way you actually see your day to day, and you would correlate it to everything that you have to do, uh, you know, that you have going on on your day to day. So, you know, hanging around the right people, attending events. You know, this is a big one, right? I'm around people that actually motivate me to be better. I'm around people that fuel my belief levels. I'm around people that just by being around them, seeing the things that they do, knowing that they have more success than I do and they do more than I do, it just naturally pushes me to be the best version of me. It naturally pushes me to be better, to want more, to do more, right? I'm around Ness 24 seven pretty much. done how much he's accomplished and how he doesn't stop because of what he has and motivates me to be better right so surround yourself with individuals you know that actually have more than you that would actually take the time to 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 give you advice on what you're lacking because one thing i learned over the past year you have to have people in your life and i have a very few of them um, I have a couple of them in my life, you know, shout outs to my brother, uh, Brian Champs, Brian Rainey, aka Champs, shout outs to my, my sister Tia, shout outs to Ness, because if it wasn't for those people being around me, they could actually see things that I don't see in myself. They could actually see because they're looking at it from a perspective of, you know, from the outside in, right? So they could see your blind spots when you don't see them. So you people the right people around you that would actually help you and go you know move towards this the the, the direction that you need to move in order to uh you know amount to this massive personal development is a big one um personal development is something that i wasn't very high on but after this last year um you know i've actually been implementing a lot of it and, you know, and my life is literally elevating and it has changed tremendously, right? And it's, and, you know, I have to, you know, I have to, you know, give like, you know, I wasn't doing it before and I thought I, you know, I was the type of person I pretty much thought that, you know, they knew it all. But once I started reading, once I started like, you know, putting different amounts of information into my brain, into my day to day, my I on is personal development um, because I've been able to prove that it is it is essential to to helping and not just not just 
in the business world, but it would actually help you in your family life and your love life. It would actually help you in so many ways that you don't even know, you know, like even if, you know, in your relationships, like something as, you know, as little as, as something as little as being less, you know, um, you know, fiery, like, you know, I used to be the person that where they said something, I would react right away. And now when you read these books and you, you know, get a little pers a different perspective in life, then you start acting differently because of this. So uh, one thing I know for sure, right, is that your level of success can never exceed your level of personal development. What that means is that if you make a certain, a certain amount of money, right, and you're at a certain amount of money, a certain level where you make a certain amount of money and your personal development is below that amount of money that you're making, eventually that amount of money will equal out to that personal development level that you have. So in order for you to be a millionaire, you have to start working on yourself in order to grow as an individual so you can get ready to, you, you can actually prepare yourself for what's to come, that immense amount of success. Now, most people see successful people and you think it's all fine and dandy, but you don't know what those successful people have to go through on a daily basis. You don't know the, the fires that they actually have to put out. Uh, and that's not something that happens overnight. It's something that takes time. It's, it's something that you actually have to work on, you know, and constantly work on as in, you know, uh, at, on yourself. Like if you don't work on yourself, you can expect to be the version of you that you are now. That version of you that you are now won't be the person of you, the version of you that will make a million dollars. I can guarantee you that, right? You have to change. Your surroundings have to change. Your environment. You need to invest time in growing yourself personally in order to pre prepare yourself. We actually just talked about that. Prepare yourself for what's coming, right? Now, and, and, and this will help you in so many different ways. You know, even if you have kids, this is something that you can instill in your kids at a very young age, um, you know, and it would create a mass. Are reading at an early age, you know, readers, um, readers usually tend to go further because they pretty much exercise the mind more than you know more more often than not so um personal development um this is actually uh something that i actually came up with uh, and i pretty much said that personal development development is like actually bloom right if you can't if you don't water your garden every single day right you can expect for those flowers to bloom. You can expect for your garden to look nice. And that's a fact, right? So if you don't invest time in your stuff, it doesn't have to be reading a book every single day. You know, you could read a single chapter every single day. Or, you know, something positive, right? Listening to positive music, listening to something that actually drives you to be better. And that is actually uh, something that you need to start implementing into your life as of today in order for you to, you know, strive for those massive amount of levels of success that you actually desire in your life. Live by, this is a concept that was taught to me by my brother, Ness Bequest. Most of you guys know him. Um, when I actually, you know, came into this company, you know, I tend to think that I was very negative. Um, you know, and, and he actually sat me down one day and he said, Joey, you want to live by the three peaks. And ever since then, I decided to make it a point to live by the three peaks. So what the three peaks stand for is a po you know, positive, productive and profitable. Right. You want to put yourself in positive environments. Right. They would challenge you to be better, uh, do better, do more faster. Right. You want to have a positive mindset. You want to have positivity around you. I like to say, if I'm surrounded by positivity, how can I lose? If I'm surrounded by positivity, if I'm surrounded by winners, how can I lose? There's no, there's no negativity that could come into that. Matter of fact, a lot of my family members call me all the time and if they have any, any ounce of negativity in their voice, I literally, and it, it could be my mother, right? I literally, I've done it in front of my friends. You know, you know, they come at me with the negativity. I'm like, I don't have time for this. Talk to you when, you know, you're in a different state of mind because positive energy and negative energy, I want you guys to understand, is contagious. 
right? Have you ever had the best day of your life, man, right? Imagine this, best day of your life and you get your best friend calling you. He just had a car accident. He just had a death in the family. He just had this and he just said, they had this and they, they just had that. And your mood starts to change. So you were very positive, but all of a sudden, because some someone came to you with negative news, all of a sudden your move has changed and your entire day is, you know, it's, it's actually just flipped to the wrong side of things, right? So if you don't allow for those situations to even happen or come close to you, then positive 100% of the time, but make it a point to be positive more often than not. And you start seeing some positivity come into your life, right? And I literally mean, productive, right? You want to put yourself in productive environments and productive settings and productive circles of, you know, friendships, productive relationships, right? I tell you a story. Um, I have a lot of my, you know, my childhood friends uh, that are not in this business and, uh, you know, I have an immense amount of respect and, you know, love for them, but, you know, I actually started cutting them off, you know, a little bit out of my life because they were putting themselves in situations that wasn't they wasn't conducted to where I wanted to go. It wasn't, it, they wasn't helping my growth more often they were actually holding me back. So it wasn't a productive scenario for my growth and where I wanted to go in life, right? So, you know, you want to put yourself in a productive state of mind, positive, um, you know, and positive and productive. And the last one, profitable, right? Ask yourself what I'm, what I'm doing right now. Am I benefiting from it? Yes or no, right? Is it profitable to me? right? Is it productive, right? Is it leading to income, right? So most of you guys get on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all you're doing is scrolling through, but you're not prospecting towards your business. You're not prospecting to grow your business, but you expect to hit chairman 10. I'm here to tell you that that's not going to happen unless you make it happen. Nobody, you're not going to get lucky, right? And there's three different sort of, uh, 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 network marketers out there for you guys, right? There's the posters, the amateurs and the professional ones. You want to be a professional one. This is a profession. This is not a hobby, right? A lot of people look at this industry as a hobby and that's why they get hobby results, right? Some of us, we treat it like a profession and that's why we get paid tens and tens and you know hundreds of thousands of dollars to do what we do because we're professionals at it, right? So if you're in social media, make sure that you're doing some type of flow, Meaning, you know, going and for them to come back or ask you what are you doing, right? What you're doing on Instagram, what you're doing on, you know, on Netflix, what you is it profitable? Is it profitable to your growth? Is it helping you to your, you know, is it helping you reach those goals that you want um, out of life? And ask yourself, like, you. Know, or, you know, whoever, your kids, whoever it is, right? When you fail them, you're not, you, when you fail at doing the things that you need to do, you're not failing yourself. You're failing your why. You're failing the people that you're doing this for. You're failing them, right? You're, you're actually, you're And you're not doing the things that it requires for you to do those, to, for you to, for them to live that life that you actually desire for them. So live by these three, three, these three words and I guarantee you your life will start changing. Positive, productive, and profitable. If your life will be a lot different than what it is right now. Now, these... Uh, six principles, are, I mean, these five principles are the principles that will lead you in the direction of success, right? I said earlier in the beginning that this, uh, you know, this training is called success, the price of success. And why them to be where they want to be, right? And it's sad because if you ask yourself, you know, if, if I ask you, to go talk to 5,000 people and automatically you would be chairman chairman 100, you would go.
you don't go and talk to 5,000 people because you have fear. You have less belief than some of us. You have limiting belief that you can be that person. And I'm here to tell you that if I could do it, right? If trading changed my life, why can it change yours? If I can be chairman, why can why can you be chairman? Right? It, it, asks, it, it begins and it starts with you, the way you think, the way you carry yourself, the posture that you have, right? If you think you can do it and you think you can't do it, both versions of yourself are right. So start thinking that you can do these things so you can actually start doing the things that it requires for you to get there, right? Now, decision-making, burning all the bridges, building your self-belief system, right? The habits, the lifestyle changes, and the personal development and the three Ps, um, you know, living by the three Ps, that's what you need in order for you to have massive, massive success in your life. That's what it is required for you to, you know, grow as an individual. And forget about this industry, just, you know, as a whole, this industry has made me a better individual. As a whole, I've, I've connected myself with individuals that make a lot more money than me, and they want to see me making that those same amounts of money that they actually are making. It allowed me to expand my way of thinking, allow me to think bigger and faster much sooner, right? Not when I was 50, 60 years old, but I could be living that life that every, everybody desires, that retired lifestyle that everybody desires. I'm living that lifestyle right now. I get to do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want, because I decided to put my own into a company that allowed me to change my life completely. And it's allowing me to touch, you know, family. And residual income, right? So I like to leave you guys with my, my, my actually my very first quote. This is something that I like to actually live by as well. I like to say, don't look right, don't look left, just look forward towards the end of the goal and the results will meet you there. A lot of a lot of you guys are comparing your chapter number chapter one to somebody's chapter 10, right? And that's not something you should be doing. I don't compare myself to Alex Morton. I just know if I do the things that Alex did to get there, I will actually be there, right? But he has the immense amount of success that he has because he's gone through those trials and tribulations, right? So don't compare yourself to your to anybody else because nobody else is better than you. Understand that. Nobody else is better than you. None of these chairmen or chairwomen are better than you. They just got there before you. They just did the things that it required for them to be there, right? So put yourself in that state of mind. If they, they can do it, I can do it. I firmly believe nobody's better than me, but I know I'm not, I, I firmly believe I'm not better, I'm better than anybody, but I know for a fact nobody's better than me. You got to run your own race. You got to worry about your results. You got to worry about the things that you're doing to get those, those results. And that's the only thing that would have an effect on your end outcome, which is your results. Okay. So if you want the cars, the house, the perfect life, you can have all that, but you have to start doing things right now that would actually lead you to those things. You have to start implementing changes in your life. I would allow you to grow as an individual. That would allow you to grow as a businessman. That would allow you to grow as a businesswoman, right? So put yourself in that state of mind. Put yourself in that state of mind. Nobody's better than me. You're not better than anybody, right? So without further ado, guys, that is going to conclude our training for tonight. Uh, type, you know, some fire emojis if you think this this was beneficial. Um, you know, your time was well worth it. Fire emojis in the chat if you think that this was dope. Shout outs to everybody that tuned in. Fire emojis in the chat. Let's record this one time. Let's go. Fire emojis in the chat if you think. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So it is my pleasure to be here with you guys. Look, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is on the screen right here at Joey P, uh, at Joey P728. My one and only Instagram. I'm 
I'm actually constantly giving out value, um, you know, for free. Like, literally, like, this is something that's bigger than me. It's bigger than us. This company is going to the moon with or without you, but you need to start changing the way, the, the way you think in order for you to have success with us and meet us at the top. So, guys, that is going to be my time for today. I hope everybody has a beautiful, a beautiful night. Stay blessed. Take care. I will see you guys on the next training. Thank you for tuning in. It means the world to me. Um, and uh, let's connect over social media. I like to get to know some of you guys. So at Joey P728, at Joey P728. Take care. Stay blessed. I will see you guys on the flip side. All right.